So in this video, Kyle is going to walk you through deprecating your old Ninja Forms add-on. So the code that's now currently working on 2.9x uh, and is working just fine, how do we deprecate that? Well, Ninja Forms Core has created a convention to uh, make it easy for you to deprecate and it's, uh, it's really just about taking your core plugin code now and putting it inside of a deprecated folder inside the same plugin. Um, but he's gonna use the Ninja Forms Kozo to kind of show that example and show the if check uh, and how that's being included. So, it will, so Ninja Forms will know automatically, I am 2.9x, use the deprecated code, I am 3.0, use the new code. Um, the reason we wanna do this is to make it just a seamless transition and make it so that people who have old versions of add-ons or have uh, old version of Ninja Forms don't end up using code that's unavailable and their stuff just breaks. Instead, we have both versions ready to go for them. This also makes it really nice if they do update to 3.0 and they decide to roll back to 2.9, which we are gonna have a one-click way of doing that your plugin will just continue to work because we'll just start using the 2.9 code. So we're really excited about it. We're gonna, we think it'll make it a really smooth process. So here's Kyle talking about how to deprecate your add-on code. Okay, let's look at deprecating a current extension to see how that process works. First, we're going to create a folder called deprecated. Then we're going to move the existing plugin files into the deprecated folder. With the original plugin files now in the deprecated folder, we can create our new main plugin file. For this example, I have generated a boilerplate using the Ninja Forms Kozo generator. For the deprecated process to work, according to the convention set in Ninja Forms Core, we will use a conditional check for the Ninja Forms version, then either include a deprecated copy of the file or a new plugin class. The generated boilerplate already has the logic for us as well as the include statement for the deprecated file. With this structure in place, there's one more step, and that is to remove the old plugin headers from the original main plugin file. 